It is truly incredible to know that Democrats are so shameless that in the same week that they are denouncing the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade, they're campaigning, doing rallies for an anti-abortion Democrat named Henry Cuellar. And it's not like he's the only option. This is the Democratic Party primary where a progressive woman who is pro-choice is running. And who did Democratic Party leadership choose to uh, back? Henry Cuellar. They're doing rallies for him this week. Nancy Pelosi is and uh, Jim Clyburn is. Yeah, but yet they're denouncing the decision to repeal Roe v. Wade by the Supreme Court. It's unbelievable, but it's still so believable. Like, it's predictable, but it's still shocking how brazen they are. Now, thankfully, voters are noticing this, and there is backlash. As Brett Wilkins of Common Dreams explains, in the wake of the bombshell leak of a U.S. Supreme Court draft opinion likely signifying the reversal of Roe v. Wade, progressives on Tuesday blasted the three ranking House Democrats for voicing support for reproductive rights while continuing to back anti-choice Representative Henry Cuellar's bid for re-election in Texas. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Majority Leader Steny Hoyer, and Majority Whip James Clyburn all expressed alarm over the prospect that the landmark 49-year-old Supreme Court ruling guaranteeing the right to abortion will be overturned while affirming their support for reproductive rights. However, critics took all three Democratic leaders to task for their endorsements of Cuellar, the House Democrat with the strongest anti-choice record. A day after his office and home were raided by FBI agents in January as part of a federal probe relating to the country of Azerbaijan, Cuellar remotely addressed the Democrats for Life annual march for life breakfast in Washington in D.C. and was awarded the group's Legislator of the Year Award for his defense of life from womb to tomb. Oh, that's hilarious. He's defending life from womb to tomb. But yet, if, you know, that that life needs health care, mm, sorry, you can die if you can't afford it. Unbelievable. Now, it's not just uh, Pelosi, Hoyer, and Clyburn who have endorsed him. I believe it's also Hakeem Jeffries, too. So all of Democratic leadership is rallying behind this forced birther over a progressive woman. This is who's leading the Democratic Party, and you wonder why it's in such bad shape. I mean, if they put half as much effort into fighting Republicans as hard as they fight progressives, then perhaps we might actually have some progress in this country. But they don't fight the people in their country who are obstructing them, like Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema. Democrats fight against progressives. Look at how many people came out to stop Nina Turner. Even Joe Biden endorsed Chantel Brown over Nina Turner. So they are absolutely willing to fight. It's just that they don't choose to fight Republicans. They choose to fight members of their own party who actually want change. Now, Henry Cuellar's primary opponent, who's facing him in a runoff race on May 24th, decided to respond to this because, I mean, if you care about Roe, then you can't just say that. You have to put your money where your mouth is. And she called on them to withdraw support for Henry Cuellar. Take a look. As the Supreme Court prepares to overturn Roe v. Wade, I am calling on Democratic Party leadership to withdraw their support of Henry Cuella, who is the last anti-choice Democrat in Congress. At every turn, my congressman has stood in opposition to the Democratic Party agenda from being anti-union to being anti-choice. And with the House majority on the line, Cuella could very much be the deciding vote on the future of reproductive rights in this country, and we just cannot afford that risk. On May 24th, we will defeat the last anti-choice Democrat and South Texas will finally have a representative in their corner who will fight for their health care, their jobs, and their freedom. I hope Democratic Party leadership won't stand in the way of delivering for South Texan families and I'm ready to work with them to deliver on the Democratic agenda. But we cannot do this alone. We can win this but it's going to take all of us. We only have 20 days to get this done. If you live in the district, I hope to count on your vote and I hope to see you out there knocking on some doors to get out the vote for the May 24th election. And it's also really easy to support our campaign from wherever you are. Please consider chipping in 10, 20, $30, whatever you can do or joining one of our phone banks. Please go to jessicacisnerosforcongress.com. That's Jessica Cisneros, C-I-S-N-E-R-O-S, for congress.com to get plugged in. Thank you so much for your support. She should not have to do this. One of the stipulations from getting the endorsement and support and money from Democratic Party leadership should be that you unapologetically would defend the right to an abortion. But they're backing him over somebody who does, who's progressive. And he was raided by the FBI. And they're like, mm, still, we'd rather have him than the progressive. It is just truly, um, 
ridiculous. Democrats have no standards. And it's not just corporate Democrats who have no standards. Progressive Democrats also have no standards because they allow anyone into the Progressive Caucus. A member like Chantel Brown, who's part of the New Democrats Caucus as well, who fights against progressives, is also part of the Progressive Caucus. So Democrats, they don't care. They let anti-abortion people in their party. Nancy Pelosi said before that the issue of abortion was hurting them, which is not true, by the way. And she also said that, of course, anti-abortion Democrats should be welcomed into the party because we're a big tent party. It's a tent that's so big that we allow Republicans in, but somehow exclude leftists from being part of this party. I mean, they would literally let Mitch McConnell be a Democrat and he could change nothing. All he changes is his party affiliation, but he could still support all of the same policies. They defend him. They endorse him over the left. It's just this is the state of the Democratic Party. They have power. And rather than trying to fight to stop Republicans, they're aiding people who are fighting alongside Republicans like Henry Cuellar over a progressive woman who wants to fight for the people. It's just, it's repulsive. And the Democratic Party's base has to stop giving them a pass. I understand that it's scary when you see the juxtaposition, juxtaposition between Democrats and Republicans being in power. I get that. Democrats are better compared to Republicans. Republicans are an organized death cult. But you can't keep giving Democrats a pass. You can't keep letting them get away with this. You have to hold them accountable at some point. And you could start by not voting for corporate Democrats. Actually look up who's running in your district and vote for the progressive as opposed to the incumbent corporatist that leadership endorsed, okay? That's the one thing that you can do that's really important. Stop letting them dupe you. Actually, I don't know, hold them accountable. I just It feels like this country is a lost cause, right? Everyone's complaining, things are getting worse but nobody's willing to put effort in to make it better.